Hello my lovely Taurus. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So we are going to be doing your October bonus reading and it is a general reading so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy then I do have personals open and they are on sale. You guys can get a recorded video reading three questions for $20 or an hour long Zoom reading for $50. And everything that you guys will need to know about scheduling is in the description box for you. You can also follow me over on Patreon. I do additional readings over there. We do different types of readings over there, spiritual growth. We do money and career, love readings. Um, but yeah, there's a link for that in the description box if that is something that you guys are interested in. And when you join over there, you get a free one question email reading. So Archangel, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my very most beautiful Taurus, please may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. May they please find those who need to hear them. All right, Taurus, let's take a look and see what's going on for you. We're going to be using the Oracle as well as the Tarot today. So you have number 40, co-create. And I am working on myself. I like these energies. I do, Taurus. I really like this. I think that there is somebody here who's not only working on themselves, but is getting, getting ready to be in a space that they can work well with you, right? So somebody who wants to work with you but understands that they have to work on themselves first, that they have to be in a good place first. So I, I really like this. We're going to take a look at their headspace, their heart space, their true intentions, and their actions moving forward. Show me this person's thoughts when it comes to Taurus, please. Show me this person's thoughts when it comes to Taurus. Got the two of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like this person still feels like they don't have everything together, right? That they don't have everything together or they're just not quite where they want to be. Got the queen of cups, so I feel like they're missing you. I do feel like this is somebody that you guys have dealt with in the past. You know, the two, I said the two of cups, but I meant the two of pentacles. I'm sorry, my loves. The two of pentacles in the upright is a card of like managing things, like holding it all together, balancing things really well. In the reverse, it's kind of the opposite of that. So I do, like I said, I feel like they don't feel like they have it together. Um, they're not where they want to be, but I do feel like they are missing you here. They're definitely missing you. And the king of cups in the reverse. They're also, I feel like, maybe not in the most emotionally stable place either, you know, and, and maybe that's one of the things that they're working on as well is becoming into a more emotionally mature, emotionally stable place. They could also be thinking with the Kina Cup showing up in the reverse that, um, you know, wondering if you're going to be open to them or if you're going to be more emotionally closed off to them, right? If you're going to be open to hearing from them or hearing what they have to say. Now, with that Keen of Cups in the reverse too, they could, in the mind space, they could also be thinking that they need to, you know, kind of disconnect from emotions at this time or how about not, that's not really how I want to put that, but they want to maybe stay out of emotional involvements while they work on themselves. Show me what's going on in this person's heart space. What are their feelings towards Taurus? Get the temperance in the reverse. I think it's hard for them to stay away from you. I think they're kind of losing a little bit of patience in this, but they understand that things are, you know, that some things need to change or need to improve first. But I think they're getting impatient, um, you know, waiting for waiting for them to be in a space where they can reach out because they are missing you here. They have the nine of wands in the reverse. And the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. You know, change isn't easy. Change isn't easy, especially if this person has had... For some of you, I'm getting that they could have had some kind of um, addiction. Some of them could have been... Especially if they had some kind of like addiction, uh, like drinking or drugs or that energy. Especially with this co-create. They could be receiving help. Um, even if it's not, even if it's just mental or emotional stuff. I feel like some of you guys... some For some of them, they could be receiving outside help with this co-create energy. Um, it does kind of feel like that maybe they're like this could be like going to like a rehab or a, some kind of health facility or this could look like just going to counseling therapy that kind of an energy right um 
so I do feel like it's very positive, but I feel like this person's also getting frustrated because there is, they feel like there's just a lot of work to be done. There's a moments when I feel like this person feels like giving up, but I also kind of feel like they're kind of looking at you as like their North Star, right? Like as their, I don't say like their reward for um, getting through this, but kind of like, well, if I can, you know, if I can work on this stuff and if I can manage this and if I can heal, you know, then maybe I'll have a shot. Maybe we'll have a shot. You know, it's like, that's kind of the thing that's pulling them through. What are their true intentions? The justice card. So they do have good intentions. The three of wands in the reverse and the page of cups in the reverse. So, like, especially with the temperance in the reverse over here, it's like losing patience. The Nine of Wands in the reverse can be an energy of giving up, feeling like they want to give up at times because they feel like things aren't improving fast enough with the, with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, or they feel like it's taking too long with that temperance in the reverse as well. Let me come over here to their true intentions, and they do have good intentions. The Justice card, they could want to make things right with you, right? They could want to make amends with you, um, bring things back into balance. The only thing I would say with this is that the Page of Cups in the reverse, they could feel like they've already lost you here. They could feel like you've already slipped away, that they've already lost you here. The Three of Wands in the reverse, to me, they could be... They, I feel like this person is putting a lot of the blame for whatever happened here between the two of you guys on themselves. And maybe it was them, but they're definitely shouldering the blame, you know? Um, the Three of Wands in the upright can be a card of, like, delegation, right? And so sometimes in the reverse, it's like taking it all on ourselves. As well as I feel like it's also just keeping a lot to themselves. I feel like they are keeping a lot to themselves at this time because they are trying to work on things. They don't want to approach you um, until they're until they are where they want to be, you know, until they are in a good space. So I do feel like they are keeping a lot to themselves. But they are worried that they've already lost you. The three of ones in reverse can also be a card of like losing hope. Um, but the th page of cups, you know, when he's in the, when he's in the reverse, that that cup can just slip right or that fish can just slip right out of the cup. So sometimes it kind of has that one that got away type of an energy. And I do kind of feel that here. So let's take a look at their actions. What actions will this person be taking? If any, what actions will this person be taking? They got the eight of cups in the reverse. So I do feel like they do plan on returning the king of pentacles in the reverse, the five of pentacles in the reverse. But, you know, they are returning changed because the King of Pentacles in the reverse is a card of establishment. It's a card of the way that things have always been, right? And with it in the reverse, I feel like they are returning different. I feel like they are returning changed. So if you've been expecting, like maybe you've always known them a certain way. They've been a certain way the whole time that you were with them, right? Or the whole time you knew them. Um, I feel like that's what's changed here. Something is no longer the way it's always been. Okay, something is no longer the way it's always been with that King of Pentacles showing up in the reverse. But yeah, the Eight of Cups in the reverse and the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, both cards of a return, right? Wanting to come out of the cold. So I do feel like this person is going to do to re try to return to you at the very least. Um, but I do feel like they are kind of waiting until they, to the, they're in a better space, until they're where they want to be, or at least closer to where they want to be. I do really genuinely think this person is truly working on themselves, and I do feel like for some of them, they are receiving outside help, right? But we are going to grab another deck and take a look real quick at what you don't see coming in this situation, and then we're going to take a look at some advice for you guys. So, Ten of Wands here. And the Ten of Pentacles. Some of them could, for some of them, they could be, you know, returning to their family um, or returning to their values, really trying to return to the things that are truly important to them. And that may surprise you. This person's values are what is important to them now, where they're putting their energy now. The Wheel of Fortune. So an unexpected change. An unexpected change. So I do feel like this person's whole energy... Um, and mindset, everything about them is going to take you by surprise. I, I think it's all going to surprise you. 
what advice do we have for Taurus? But guys, keep in mind, if this is something that you've been trying to heal from, is something that was super toxic for you, just because somebody is having realizations and is changed doesn't mean that they're entitled to your energy, right? Only you guys get to decide what is best for you and who you allow to have access to. If this is something that you feel like is best for you to give another chance, then only you get to decide that. Um, but if it's not, then, you know, keep that in mind. So we got the Nine of Cups in the reverse. The Sun card in the reverse. And the Queen of Swords for the advice. So let's take a look at that. I feel like this is something that was really unfulfilling for you. I feel like this is something that made you, um, you know, it, it caused a lot of unhappiness for you. I do. And I feel like a part of you has already kind of turned your back to that situation. Some of you guys may be willing to hear what this person has to say. The Queen of Swords, you know, typically she does have her one hand out to welcome in something like, okay, I'll hear you out. I'll hear what you have to say, but they have another hand out. It's a sword, okay, willing to cut something off if they need to. So you can just be willing to hear this person out, but you could be on your on guard or you could have really high boundaries in a situation, right? Um, because this person has caused a lot of unhappiness in your past. It has taken a lot from you mentally, emotionally, right? So I think that that's a good attitude with it. I think that you know, having your boundaries and being willing to cut something off um, is a really good energy. I think some of you guys may have turned your back to it completely. Um, but, you know, just take it how it resonates for you. But, my loves, that is what I have for you guys. Now, if this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. And if it doesn't, then just check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. But most importantly, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, then just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light. Until next time.